En route to the WBL Championship, the Bath Wildkins only lost one league softball game, falling at home to Shawnee, snapping the defending state champs' lengthy WBL winning streak. Well, Wednesday night looked like Wapak would end Bath's postseason winning streak in the district semis, but then future Toledo Rocket Julia Miller rocketed a three-run homer in the bottom of the sixth to lead the Wildkins back to the district finals, where Shawnee and ace pitcher Alyssa Windau await. Secret ingredient, plenty of snacks. Must be Bath's secret to success. Top of the first, Shawnee run around, but Miller strikes out Shawnee's power-hitting catcher, Chloe Wolgamuth. Go to the bottom of the first now. Bath with a runner on. Miller, a laser to left center. Carries over the fence. Kara Deansberger scores ahead of her. 2-0 on the home run. Miller has a penchant for hitting long balls in the postseason. Top of the third, Shawnee with two on. Jamie Fulham hits a blooper to shallow left. Deansberger can't make the catch, but quickly throws to Courtney Helmig to get the out at third. Bath escapes unharmed. Bottom of the third, Wildkins blow it open after a leadoff double and a walk. Miller blisters the ball into left field. Deansberger scores again. It's a 3-0 lead for the Wildkins. Next batter, Ellie Dakin, deep fly ball to left. Uh-oh, better get Mako off the car. A three-run blast, 6-0. Bath would go up 7-0 after the third. Bottom of the fourth now. Alyssa Manley, liner off Molly Bollinger, but Rachel Evans makes the diving catch at shortstop for Shawnee. But after that, all Wildkins. Bases loaded for Cassie Vest. Pulls it down the line. Pinch runner Maddie Mooney did a great job singing the national anthem. Scores along with Carly Fry and Alex Ruba. 10-0 Wildkins. Bath would go up 11-0 after four innings of play. Top of the fifth, two outs. Fly ball, and Fry makes the sliding catch to end the game as Bath wins 11-0 in five innings. Eight seniors, including Miller, graduated earlier this morning. So for Miller, what was the highlight of the day? Graduating, hitting the home run, or pitching the shutout? Tough to call. Can I choose all of the above? <laughs> um, I would probably say a home run. That was, I mean, but the pitch out, probably, okay, the, no, the shutout. That's my final answer, shut out. You really can't decide. <laughs> no, <laughs> I really can't. I mean, shut out is great because I haven't had one of those yet, I don't think. And I, the defense was so great tonight, and I wanted to do that, like help them as much as I possibly could. I thought we had a better plate approach today. Um, we knew what Wendell was going to bring. Um, you know, she still pitched a great game and, and does a really nice job getting ahead of batters. And um, we talked about that we want to jump on them early and often. And I thought our hitters did a good job um, that way. And then I thought Julia pitched a great game um, to keep their batters off of balance. Yeah, this game was really hyped up. These are both really good teams. And uh, we came out and we jumped right on them. And I'm proud of the way we played. They all day and yesterday had been saying, you know, yeah, we're graduating tomorrow, but the bigger deal is us playing a softball game after. So I think our primary Mary Focus was right there, ready for the game um, all the way. So Bath heading back to Bucyrus. Wildkins will play Wednesday at 5 o'clock against Milan Edison. That game will be rebroadcast Thursday night at WOSN. Other half of that regional bracket, LaGrange, Keystone, no strangers to that Bucyrus bracket. They will return and will play Sandusky Perkins, who knocked off Maumee earlier today.